Hi guys, welcome to uh, another shop tour. We're up in the ever sunny Stockton on Tees this morning to visit uh, Pond Planet. Now, uh, if you're not aware of this place, these guys are an absolute powerhouse uh, in online selling. And uh, a few years back opened uh, an additional premises op opposite from the Dry Goods Warehouse, which is a, a retail store open for people to visit, selling livestock uh, alongside the, the vast range of uh, dry goods that this place actually carries. Uh, throughout this video, you might hear the door pinging, phones ringing constantly, because this place just seems to, to never ever stop. Uh, personally, I've dealt with these guys for, for quite a while and always find the, the standards, fish welfare, you know, attention to detail and everything to do with quality of customer service to be absolutely exceptional. So uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look around, take a look around the retail shop, take a look around the warehouse, some of the fish and delve into a little bit more about what the business is all about and what they've got to offer uh, you guys. But take it from me, uh, if you're in the area or if you're ever in need of a, a spare part or a, a product, whatever it is, these guys will have it. They're not just like a mail order business uh, that's drop shipping and relying on everything. These guys put their money where their mouth is. They, they stock the stuff and it's here uh, to provide you with the best service. So uh, yeah, let's get into it and take a look around. Right folks, I'm here with uh, Mark, who is general manager over in the, the retail shop at Pond Planet. And uh, yeah, very passionate koi keeper as well. So uh, he always loves to visit up to, up to my place and as well as looking for stock for the shop tends to walk away with a fish or two for his own pond as well. So uh, yeah, tell us about your, your background, Mark, first of all. Um, well, I suppose I've been sort of in the trade nearly 20 years now. Yeah. Um, sort of studied at Brooksby College, did, did aquatics there back oh, yeah. in sort of 2000 to 2002. Yeah, nice. um, and then sort of been working in the trade ever since, really. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've worked with a bit of everything, koi, marine, tropicals. Yeah? Yeah, done a bit of everything, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah Can't beat yeah. it, can Yeah, you? no, no, love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. And you're a koi keeper outside of work as well, then? I am, yeah, yeah. I've got Koi pond at home, uh, keep stingrays at home. Drop, yeah, 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 so that's I'm, what I like. Can't, yeah, so running, running probably about fifteen thousand liters of water altogether, sort of between it all. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. So keeping a bit of everything really. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. some would say then really you're living the dream as a as an obvious. Yeah, yeah. yeah to come love to it, work so. and do it. Just every work day with them all the time. Well. It's great, really. Yeah, yeah. So it's always exciting getting new fishing and mm. uh, yeah, yeah. Just always interesting. You never know when you get new fishing opening the boxes. It just yeah, something a bit different every time, yeah, yeah, it is, so, it so is. I love it, yeah. So Pond Planet then, how long have you worked here and how long sort of Pond Planet been in existence? So Pond Planet's been going for about, I think about nine years now. Yeah. Uh, shop's been over here for approximately about two years. Yeah. Um, I've been with them about 18 months now, um, but I have worked with the previous owner, Graham, in the past. So yeah. I worked with him for about 11 years at his previous shop as well. So, okay, nice. so I have worked with all of them oh, here, nice. you know, yeah, over yeah, here, yeah, sort yeah. of thing really, yeah. so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. And so Pond Planet started out as a mail order business. It did, yes, that's how that's it initially, right. yeah, it initially started doing sort of mail order across, yeah, across the other side and then yeah. it's more developed onto the retail side, which is you know what we want to sort of work at more, sort of doing more with the fish, more with the livestock really yeah. as we go along. Yeah. So, yeah. We're going to have a wander over to the warehouse in a bit, but obviously it's, uh, it's yes, quite yeah. a behemoth, I think is probably the there's word to describe it. There's quite a bit of stuff it. in there, yeah, you get lost in that warehouse, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know, I know there's you know a lot of mail order companies these days are built off the back of drop shipping and relying on suppliers and things things like that, but that's yeah, clearly yeah. not the angle that you guys have gone down. I mean, no. was there a reason for behind that? I know obviously Tim and Graham who founded the business, mm -hmm. but surely. I think a lot of it is just wanted to be able to sort of supply with stuff, with, you know, stock for stuff people on, on the initial day, I suppose, really, rather yeah. than saying, oh, we'll order it or we'll drop ship it. And, yeah. and I suppose we tried to rely on offering as much advice over the phone for people, you know, as possible. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's important to be you know, to us that people get the right filters, right pumps and, and right equipment really, because we we do see a lot of people getting missold the wrong stuff for the ponds really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Presumably as it is it, what sort of service do you offer online? Is it all next day? It is, yeah, we can do next day delivery. Uh, so it's generally next day. So for us, any orders over £49 is all free next day delivery. Yeah. Um, you know, anything under that, and it's normally a couple of days on, on shipping sort of yeah, thing. Cool. Um, but yeah, we normally try and keep as much as we can in Europe, up to items like big drum filters and stuff like that, so we can just get yeah. straight out to the customer. Yeah, really, mega, you know, mega. So, yeah. so we're in the retail shop at the minute, yeah. uh, in front of this lovely new pond uh, that's been set up yes, with a fantastic it. collection of fish in it. Really, really nice. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, how long has this been here? Is this uh, well, um, be worth having a look at the filter system behind here as well? Yeah, yeah, you can have a look. As, yeah. as I walked in, I was mighty impressed. And when I looked behind there, I couldn't quite believe what kit had been thrown on this. Yeah, for it's a, a little for bit a relatively small pod. A bit overkill, isn't it, really? <laughs> but it keeps on top of it, lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it keeps on top of it nicely, really. But uh, yeah, it's been about um, probably been to be about eighteen months we've had this. I would have thought something yeah. like that. Um, we put the drum on straight away, really, because we just want to try and put us as good a filtration as possible really on yeah. it and obviously with having a fairly decent stock in here we just want to make sure it's kept on top of really you know yeah that's what i've seen um, obviously a few chats i had with graham he was keen to sort of push on and get some of the better quality koi in that's the thing i think we want to stock a bit higher i think we had a lot of interest for sort of better quality fish yeah. so rather than yeah. sort of limit ourselves we just thought we'd try and expand it a bit more and, mm. and and it's gone well for us this year really to be honest you know we've had a lot of nice decent fish off here that have, have sold well and yeah. yeah been some lovely fish yeah lovely quality so uh yeah What's your favourite favourite fish in here, Mark? Oh, I, I think, I've I think, always got a I soft spot for chags. I yeah, know it's not only yeah, yeah. exciting, yeah, but I've always got a soft spot for chags. Really, um, I still like my doits fish. Really, you, you know, can't sort it, of ignore um, these two sort of cruising the about, chags can you? Sort of rule the pond, really. You know, mm. they've got quite a lot of presence really in here. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously we've just got them recently off you, but they've settled so well, um, looking fantastic. You know, mm. I think they've calmed the other fish down a little bit more as well in here, to be honest. You know, so. Yeah. Um, but no, they're probably, yeah, probably my favourites, along with the Deutz fish, really. I do quite like, yeah, Deutz yeah. fish as well. Mm -hmm. So the retail shop, are you providing, obviously, it's not just uh, koi, you, you're covering everything for, for all pond keepers. Yes, yeah, we well. try to sort of cover, from, you know, sort of basic pond keepers who've just got something, you know, something small, like a little mm. garden pond with a few goldfish in. So we try to sort of cater for that end up to yeah. sort of the higher end market, really. People were, you know, wanting sort of specialist products a little bit more and, yeah. as well, you know, and then obviously we do the other sides of the you know with the tropicals and the reptiles and bits as well yeah, as well. Completely. yeah, yeah enough yeah. to keep everyone busy uh, plenty to do plenty to do <laughs> <laughs> brilliant uh, what sort of size is this pond then uh, so it's three uh, three meters long um yeah. it's 1.2 wide um and we're probably just over a meter in depth yeah yeah, yeah. i think we're working roughly about 600 650 gal yeah know, in, in in the pond and um, presumably bought was a preform one it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it was preformed, yeah, and then we've we've clad it ourselves, you know, afterwards sort mm. of thing. Um, just added the blade on, you know, we do sell a lot of blades, and that's just been a good return off the uh, off the drum. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's worked really nicely to be honest. Yeah, with this yeah. sort of preformed, yeah. yeah. Definitely be worth us if we have a quick look behind there, because I think mm, people really yeah. like, well, people like to have a never around filter what, how, system. How, how it's all anyway, running, don't they? Yeah, 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 yeah sure. see what so, uh, the, the gubbins behind it. Take really, a quick yeah. look and see what. So, what system is it that this is running on exactly? Uh, so this is um, it's the Wiser drum, the Compact M that it's run on, and then we've added the the pump chamber at the end as well um, and then you know, we've got an aquamax in the end you know an aquamax dry on there yeah, as well, yeah so I think it was wise uh, so it'll be you know, worth having a look we've got the UV in there as well the uh, the stainless steel UV sat in yeah, there yeah well take a look now and let you so explain to yeah, everybody yeah, yeah, what, what, it's, what it's all about yeah yeah no bother yeah no put around so we've got the uh, so there's the drum to start with there so there's the, uh, the medium wiser drum there which should be working really well for us do very little maintenance on it really just Occasionally, the, obviously the screens just need descaling a little mm -hmm. bit, and um, you know, just and get some of the oils off, obviously from the fish foods and things. In this, there. These have got the removable screens as they well. Have, so they have, so really easy to remove on these. Really, it's just a case of you've got a little little fitting here that yeah. just comes off, and then you can just pop your little sections out, and they will just come straight out. He says, as one little <laughs> section like that. So, and then obviously you can put different screen sizes in here as well. So you can put coarser screen and fine screens in there. Just depending on how often it's flush I've got all. to say it's Size a feature lines. of those drums that I really like I, I think, think it works really well I mean I've great. got a customer I'll look after where we've, we've, we've put sort of fightly sort of fine you know screens in there really just, yeah. just to take the real fine straight out and it, and it works an absolute treat to be honest yeah. with you um, so no really easy and, and if you do get anything blocked inside the drum grit and bits like that it's, it's very easy to access then I think to be honest you know yeah. so rather than some drums you're having to pull them all apart at least I can just get my hand in yeah, dislodge yeah, yeah, anything completely. or get the pond back and just rack it a little bit mm. and, and away we go again and we're up and going mm. so yeah so no, I think yeah, really, really easy, you know, decent maintenance and easy maintenance on these. So yeah, yeah. Um, put the Oasis Auto Top Up on there as well, so it all just sort of looks after itself. So yeah, the Solenoid nice. Auto Top Up on there. So so as soon as it does flush a little bit too much out, it just sorts itself out and yeah, yeah just yeah. looks after itself really, yeah. I suppose. So, is yeah, that the yeah. Oasis Media in there? Is it Helix? It is. Yeah, yeah. There is. There's Helix in there. Um, so there is Helix in there. And we've we've started playing around a little bit with the bio type pads yeah. on there as well. Yeah, I've seen. Uh, which seems to have matured up nicely. Mm. I think. Mm. I think my feeling there could be a risk of them clogging if there's not enough pre-filtration. But with something like this, I think it's not a big issue personally mm. um but yeah yeah i've been really pleased it's colored up nicely now you know it's it looking looking good to be honest with yeah. you yeah 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 
Yeah, awesome. No, no, and what we've got going on in this second chamber? Um, so that one's really just, just mainly the pump chamber there. We've put a little bit of bio, we've just floated in there just to bump it up a bit. Um, but you've mainly got your, um, all them out. We've put a little bit of uh, extra just bio, we just floated yeah. in there. But really the idea of that, we've just got the UV in there. Um, and also you've got the uh, the pump down at the bottom. Uh, somewhere hiding down yeah, there. Yeah, but there is the, uh, the Aquamax. Uh, dry down there as well, um, which then just sort of runs through the UV and then just straight back in on a two inch return, nice. which is sort of split between the blade and just you know, bypass some straight back into the main pond, really. Yeah, I so, think not, not to underestimate that's a serious bit of kit. Yeah, it works well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> really, no, really pleased with it, really. And, and and they have been popular this year, you know, we've done a lot of them, and um, yeah. yeah, no, I think it's a nice bit, decent bit of kit, like you say, well, well built, you know, and I, I've dealt with them. A good few years now, and they just don't seem to skip a beat. They seem to yeah, run really well. Don't seem to fantastic. go wrong. Uh, good spares back up on them. So yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, amazing. So I think that obviously the philosophy of Pond Planet seeming to be a fit all fish keeper sort of company. Yes, yeah, yeah, very much sort of cater everyone's needs. Really, you know, yeah. we appreciate you know people like the koi, but some people don't want to get too carried away and they yeah, just want yeah, a basic yeah. goldfish pond. Yeah. You know, so we have, we have our stocks of goldfish off, shibunkin strasses, that sort of thing as well. So um, koi pond fish, uh, what have we got koi starting from? Uh, koi yeah. starting from sort of twenty pounds, twenty quid up each. over. Yeah, so it's super just affordable sort of, yeah. for everybody. And so all we'll Japanese to sort of koi. markets. They're all Japanese. We don't do anything. Well, they're all from yourself. You know, there's yeah. nothing else that we stock really. Obviously, we do a few English bread ghosties, mm. but other than that, it's all just Japanese stock, really, that we're, yeah, we're keeping fantastic. in. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, looking at this, and as people watch the video, I think they'll get a theme that the livestock does sort of encompass such a small part of the business as it stands. It does, in a way, But yeah, we can't yeah. ignore what's sort of over our shoulders in all this lot, and then what yeah. people are going to see over in the of warehouse. Dry stocks and things, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. so I've never... What, what's the sort of process when it comes to choosing a brand that you stock or, or whatever it is? Are you selective on brands or is it a case of having as much as I think we're trying to look as much as we can, but we do tend to look at a lot of stuff and sort of look at its reliability, how it's built. Yeah. We, we always like to get a product first, have a little play with it, pull it apart, see what we think of it, see if there's any pitfalls with it, yeah. you know, um, and before we sort of stock it really, I suppose, you know, and then we know what, what we're selling is a decent product. Yeah. Um, I suppose what we don't want is hassle if something isn't well built, you know, we don't want to give customers problems and pass yeah. that yeah. On. So yeah. yeah, we'll always have a good look at products before yeah. we uh, before we sort of stock them as a product line. I right? think obviously yeah. it makes sense as an online business to have a wide choice because you're trying to obviously provide people with what they're looking for at any given time. But do you have preferences when it comes to certain products when you're in the shop and you're advising stuff? So filters, for example, have you got a preference there or pumps, koi food? Yeah, so we'll always we'll always try and aim as, as good a quality as possible. We'll try and encourage people to. Uh, sort of not necessarily spend as much as possible, we'll get the best quality products. So, yeah. you know, when it comes to filters as well, we've got a you know, soft spot for sort of a wise, you know, I think it's always yeah. very well built, you know, got the reliability that. on that. Yeah. Um, you know, I think spares, backup and service is very, very good off them. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously certain foods, things like sake car and stuff, we'll always try and sort of push people up to that, yeah. um, knowing that the quality is there and we know they'll get the results. Yeah. So, you know, we try and talk to people before they sort of run through a product on the till yeah, and just yeah. try and explain what, what you're paying and what you get yeah. for your money a little bit, really, yeah. um, compared, you know, classic one is fish foods on cheap fish foods expensive fish foods and things yeah. so we'll always have a yeah try and talk to people as much as we can really but yeah. Yeah, yeah i think that's a good point you say about awaza because not there's not a super big amount of shops that carry awaza products no, no i think maybe in the way they're set up but just having seen the drum filter i've been really banging on recently about drum filters and, yeah. and being a thing that if you're buying one you need to buy one a, a proper one yeah and by a decent well bit, yeah yeah and exactly. for me oaza and profi drum are the two that i've mentioned and yeah. certainly with oaza as i see like you say you're investing this huge amount of money in a in a in a drum filter that can go wrong this is the problem yeah, that's bit yeah. me in the and arse. it's a big investment you know, yeah. yeah so yeah. I've, I've obviously i set these drum filters up and for the first year everything was sort of rosy mm -hmm. then as time's gone on i'm at a point now where pretty much every year i'm replacing motors uh, cleaning yeah. pumps, all the rest of it, and it is an absolute nightmare. Yeah, and, that's and the thing, who's yeah. to say that the company I bought it off? Because these companies are cropping up all over the place making drum filters. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah lots of them coming out. Literally, all over, some of them it? seem to be out some guy's shed in Holland or, yes, yeah. or over here. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. Uh, you know I've got that confidence with Oaza that if in ten years' time that little tiny part breaks and I need it. You can still get that replacement fitting, and this is what's yeah. good, you know. And we've just found that you know, with the Awards, one's reliability is great, you know. I mean, I, I installed one for a customer about, about six years ago, something like that now. Just hasn't skipped a beat, just keeps running yeah. and running, hasn't yeah. gone wrong, you know. But I know I've got that backup and service yeah. if I need it. You and know? it's the same with the pumps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pump's just I, great. I think yeah. bar, I've got four Evolution Aqua pumps running on my showers, but other than that, the main right. filter pumps up at my place are all 
a while ago. Yeah, yeah, Aquamax, yeah. and same thing, they never skip a beat. They just go for years, you yeah. know, I had a customer, I had a replacement the other day, he finally gave up, but it was 17 years old, you know, yeah. so they just go and go, yeah, yeah just keep on, keep so on going. So you're saying that I've even actually got up there, this is going to sound dead tight, this, but yeah. when I first set it up, I'd, uh, part of the fish house up there from my first venture, I'd run out of cash. Right, yeah. I was trying to get what I could get, and uh, I was at the time, they were dealing with my dad at the shop, mm -hmm. and he came up, he said, I've got some pumps that were returns that we've tested and found there's nothing wrong with them, so almost like seconds, if you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was now, I hate to think, I think we're getting into realms of maybe 17, 18 years ago. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. They just, they just, just keep on going. still going, going, mm -hmm. going, mm -hmm. going. They're just power on and power on. Yeah, yeah. It's one of them prime examples, isn't it, of you pay the money the first time up front. And get the quality. It, it, so it it yeah, yeah. Back. Otherwise, you can end up buying twice if you're not careful and get yeah. some for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which must be a thing. We've had product lines in the past when I worked at my dad's shop where you think someone's come in, managed to ease the way onto the shelf for this fabulous new product and then uh, pump returns yeah. and shit. And you get loads back and then, yeah. And you feel yeah. like you're letting the customer down a little bit by, yeah. you know, selling that sort of product with more inferior products, I suppose, really. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's crucial. Mm -hmm. What, uh, if there's any some particular products around here, Mark, that you think uh, are really keen ones to point out to people? Any sort of top sellers that people are buying a lot and find quite um. useful? I suppose food side of things, obviously Saki is starting to really build up. We've just sort of started up with it a bit more, you know, this yeah. year really. Yeah. Um, so it's something I suppose a bit new to us, but we've been seeing the results. So I mean, it's something that I've, yeah, we've been strongly pushing now and been really liking. Um, yeah. So I think that's always a good one. Um, I suppose other than that, obviously going on to things like pumps and things, you know, obviously Waza pumps, you know, certainly like the, the premium pumps, the Aquamax premium yeah. now, I think when you look at the wattage, that's something to closely look at. A lot of people get caught out with stuff like that. So we do like pushing the premium pumps because I think you, you yeah. save yourself money, you're still getting a good quality pump. So that's something else I've, I've got. Yeah, I do love those pumps. I mean, I run mm. four or five of them at home now, mm. you know, and I think they're a great bit of kit. So that's a, yeah. another thing I do. Do really it's like. a massive, I mean, given where we're at right now and we're, we're filming today, we're in a part where, you know, cost of living is a, is a massive problem at the minute. Yeah, Have you yeah. seen many people coming in, many pond closures or people looking to buy new equipment this year to, to save themselves on them running costs? Some people, are yeah, we have had people definitely looking at electricity mm. costs a little bit, you know, so certainly there's, there's a bit more focus on that now these days. Yeah. It's obviously got prices have gone up, but, but generally I think people, because they've got such a passion for the hobby and people mm. really enjoy it, I think most people are trying to still work with it and do as much as they can with the ponds. And, you know, we find people are still generally spending on bits, because I think, yeah, you know, it's their hobby and they still enjoy doing it really, yeah. you know, so. Completely, mm -hmm. completely. So we're in the warehouse, Mark. Yep. Uh, this place blows my mind, to it's be honest. It's quite vast, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Blows my mind <laughs> and I'm also stressed out looking at it, to So be much everywhere, isn't it? Really <laughs> sorry for whoever's got to keep on top of it. Yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is really what, obviously, where Pond Planet started and what it really, It is, really, sort of really, really still core is, of it, really. Is, is, yeah, it's how we sort of fired up, really, initially, uh, yeah, yeah. We've got some key facts for people here. How, how many product lines are, are in this we'll place? We'll be over 10,000 product lines now that we're stock, you know, stocking over here now. So yeah, wow. yeah, plenty. Um, probably nearly over 65,000 orders, I think, went out last year. So wow. yeah, probably looking at about two or 300 a day, generally. Um, keeping us very, very, well, yeah, we're keeping the warehouse lot very, very busy. Yeah, yeah. So it's the place, so, lots the of shop do. that never sleeps then? Uh, no, no, it's ongoing all the time. Yeah, yeah, I don't think Tim ever rests, to be honest. He's con <laughs> constantly at it all day. New products, we're trying to sort of always develop, add Incredible. new things all the time, really, yeah. and just keep keep moving forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I know it. a big one. I remember when I sort of first met Graham for the first time and he was explaining about the whole model he had yeah. a major obsession about spare parts yes 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 we like us I, I do know they can be very hard things to get hold of but yeah. something I, i'm guessing from how obsessed he was and passionate talking to me about it you've got a fair few of them kicking around we do Sarah we well. try and keep as many spares as possible mm. so rather than you know if some customers impeller goes down or a ceiling ring or whatever you know we like to think we've got them all in stock so we can supply the customer straight away really so yeah. keep plenty of spares really with a waza you know laguna um hose lock you know mm. aqua sauce and all the rest of it just do, do as much as we can really on the spares mm. to be honest it's a big yeah. thing we're we're you know, quite sort of passionate yeah. about supporting the customer really you know yeah. with the uh, and all available things. next day uh, they are again yeah, yeah yeah so they need them we can get them get them to them next day no problem yeah yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah this place is is bizarre yes really. yeah yeah there's just so many products and uh, i think we're running out of space really to be honest now yeah yeah, yeah they could do with more space you know what kind of square footage is this side uh, i think this one's about five and a half thousand square foot across yeah. here yeah yeah full um, of stuff. there's not not too much space for walking around no there isn't we made everything quite tight but we had to put sort of taller units in really so instead of you know obviously we've only got so much footprint so we've got up a little bit as it were with taller yeah taller racking really you know just to fit more stuff in yeah yeah fantastic mm -hmm. well i must say mate it's a super impressive uh 
super impressive operation. And Thank you. Yeah, worth yeah. a visit over there for anybody um, interested in coming over, see the koi and get some advice. But I think the big takeaway from me here is, I mean, yeah, this is this is a company putting the money where the mouth is, you know, stocking the product in order to provide a next day service of, of real quality as well. Great advice from the guys, you know, knowing the owners, uh, Mark as well, passionate, knowledgeable, everything you want really and that's going to translate into honest and dependable advice as well so thank you for your time today no problem thank you yeah and, no good uh, to see you. Thank you. yeah best of luck